Hey everybody, welcome once again to another edition of Comic Book Geezers. I'm your host Pete, my co-host and partner in crime. Bill, the unknown comic. How are you? Welcome back again. This is part two of Tomb of Dracula. Yes, so thanks to all of you guys who have made Tomb of Dracula our most watched video on YouTube, but we only covered the first 30 issues, what seems like a million months ago. And uh, we've been meaning to circle back and finish out the series, go up to issue 70. Well, today's the day. Here we are. And here we are. And we're in uh, Casa de Pardo today for the first time in a while, it seems. We've been over at the lair of the my hole in a wall. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but regardless, it's all about We're the content. Right? It doesn't matter where we are. So let's kick it off with issue number 31. 31. All right. So, you know, we're going to hit a lot of the same themes that we did originally about, you know, the damsels in distress and fighting Blade and Quincy Harker and... Uh, Gene Colon Art. Gene Colon Art, you know. So uh, speaking of... Uh, I believe this is yeah, Quincy Harker. Yeah, there he is. Fell out of his wheelchair. Fell out of his wheelchair, get ready to be taken to the clutches of Dracula. But as we is all he know, reaching for his weapon? He is. He needs a stake. A wooden stake, which is ever so present in these comics, right? So, issue number 33. All right. Look who's here, of course. The damsel in distress. Distress. Blood on my hands. Yeah, these, these great these, covers. Yeah. I mean, you just can't get tired of looking at these two of Dracula covers. They're just so well done. I, I love this one. Okay, issue number 34, so you've got, you know, Scotland Yard, because of course you know he's hanging out in London, right? That's right, he escaped from the Alps That's to get right. away from him, because they were in, in our last episode we talked about how we, they chased him through the Alps, and he evaded them in the Swiss Alps and made it to London, but the Harkers, they're always on his tail. That's right. So now they're in London. Now they're in London. Of course, he's doing his evilness and whatnot in London. Ah, this is the one with Brother Voodoo. Yeah, great this is number one. Number thirty-five. Uh, it Thirty-four. Is Thirty-five. Yes. Is it thirty-five? It is indeed okay. thirty-five. Look at that. A new Brother Voodoo is showing up. Yep. Another great character. All right, number thirty-six. Looks like the army's getting involved here because you know Scotland Yard's not going to cut it. Well, those aren't silver bullets, so they're not going to do anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> Little do they know that, right? Nope. <laughs> the Vampire Walks Among Us. This is a great cover. This is. Number 37. Awesome stuff. And in here, I like this one too. Nah, this is nice. Again, Gene Cole in artwork. You know, can't beat it. I, I like the gray silhouette up yeah, here. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And this guy over here with the spike for a hand. I love this cover. It's one of my favorite covers the entire This is run. definitely cool. Yeah, number 39. It's always cool when he fights like some of these other creatures and stuff. He didn't do that a hell of a lot, uh, but when he did, it was really extra special. So a good, good battle issue there. And here come the forces, right? You know, again, it's the same the same team that's always after him. The crew. You got Van Helsing's, what, niece, right? Or granddaughter, I forget. You got uh, Quincy Harker, and I forget their names here. I forget this guy. This is his co Dracula's cousin. Yeah, you he's know? related. He's a blood relative. Yeah, and this guy was, uh, he was like the secretary to some He was an author. He was a writer. Yes, 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 you were correct. He wanted to interview Dracula at yep. some point in the story. Yeah, I forget his name. The Halloween Holocaust. We got Blade in this one. And some guy dressing up. Obviously, it's Halloween. Dressing up as Spider-Man. Little kid. Number 41. 42. All right. Mr. Yeah, Blade. Cool. Blade appeared in a lot. I, I have almost all the Blade issues, except for, of course, number 10, which I checked this morning. You know how much that's going for? I have no idea. It's got to be an arm and a leg Ugh. because of the Blade movies. Even though I it's... think you can get a low-grade copy for like 400 bucks. You can get a shitty copy that's missing pages for like 150 or something like that. What's the point of getting a copy but without it, pages? I know, it? yeah. But, you know, you can get a – it's top of the line. It's going for like $2,500. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. So here, okay. This, that's more than a Hulk. 181, 2,500. It's crazy, isn't it? Well, that, it's, it's, it's right up there with the Hulk. Yeah, That's these first appearances well. are just nuts, you know. So here, uh, uh, first issue of a two-part battle. Was this the first of the, I don't remember. Doctor Strange? And, yeah, and Doctor Strange. Which it number can, is this? This is number uh, 44. I, th I think that is the first this part. This is the first, so it continued in Doctor Before, Strange. And yeah. then I think, it, I don't know if it carried over into 45. Uh, it might have. I think, it was, I think you're right. It was a three-parter. And basically, he bites Doctor Strange. And Doctor Strange is showing signs of vampirism that he had to actually use his mystical powers to kind of get rid of. It's pretty crazy. So number 45, uh, there's Blade once again. This is 45? This is 45. Battling Hannibal King, another popular oh, so character. Is that, so Doctor Strange isn't in this one. Uh, it, may, it may have been in two issues of Just Doctor two? Strange. Oh, yeah. sure. yeah. I don't so, have this one. So probably this one and then the two issues of Doctor Strange. I have them all. I need, uh, there's a few in the 40s I'm missing. 
So here for number 47, 47 I have this one as well. So here he's battling this kind of cult creature over here, which is kind of neat. Definitely cool. And then, I mean, this is classic. Oh, this is, look at this cover. Yeah, this, you know, this is, look at that mug shot. This just screams like 1930s pulp, you know, magazines. Because this is the kind of covers you would see back in the, way back in the day, early literature. Today, some liberals might protest it. Yeah, oh, hell yeah, they would. And then what happened to freedom of media, freedom of the press, you know? Yeah. This is a great cover. This is. You know, in fact, there's not too many in this series that got you this, like, close-up. Where he's shot. actually going to bite his victim. Yeah, that's, that's very, very good. And it shows both top and bottom fangs. Usually it's just top fangs most of the yes, time. Yes, that, that is true. That is true. What do you got there? Number 49, 49. Robin Hood, Frankenstein, and company. Look at oh, that. Check that out. Look I need that. this also. I need, the, I need to get this one. That's a good one. And then number 50, kind of a weird one, but... The still, Silver Surfer. Still pretty I have cool. this one. Yeah, you know, weird match, I thought, but hey, you know what? This Anything is, with the Silver Surfer, yeah. Yeah, you got you to gotta read it. And he was Definitely. turning up all over the place right the around Silver the time. Silver Surfer. he didn't have his own character. comic anymore, so they threw him yeah. everywhere they That's could. That's right. Uh, you know, Battle with Blade once again <laughs> for number 51. You know, 51. And then 52, okay. Roller coaster to hell. Yes. And this guy <laughs> who we're going to see quite a bit in the coming issues that Bill's going to be showing. And this is issue 53 from my collection. It's Blade again. Yeah, this is definitely cool. And then I have 55. Yeah, I like that one. I don't swear. Kind of looks like the Ghost, Ghost Rider Rider's head, but it's not. <laughs> nice I like this flames. weird uh, psychedelic pattern, this purple and white. Oh, yeah. It's pretty it's kind different. of a trippy 1960s throwback, but look, he's pointing his finger. I want you. At you. You're, You're next. my next victim. You are next. He's not really saying that. We're just ad libbing here. 56, and it looks like a book. It does. The author we were talking about, there he is, has finished his story. It's just classic Gene Cole. Great, artwork. great artwork. Mm -hmm. This is 57, and. Uh, there's Quincy, Quincy Harker yep. in his wheelchair firing his uh, his cross bolts and Dracula's turning into mist, which is what he used to do all the time when he used to try and stab him with a with a stake <laughs> or pierce him with a wooden arrow. He always turned into mist. And this is this classic cover of him doing that again, eluding death again. Laughing at them, laughing at his enemies. Oh, this is issue cover. 58. That's great. And this is, look, in the palm of his hand. <laughs> Great cover. Blade again. Yeah. And uh, he was uh, Dracula's nemesis in this throughout this saga. This is what, number 60? They didn't really need no, to 59. give... No, 59. 59. They, they didn't really need to give Blade his own comic back then because he was in this one like all the time. Yeah, he showed up every like three or four issues, it yeah. seems like. And he showed up in the black and white of Vampire Tales and Dracula Lives magazine. This is a great cover, issue 60. Yeah, that is. And... Uh, you know, Gene Colan, again, Classic. outdoing himself. Yeah. Really, really great artwork. I would say he's in the top three most underrated 61 artists. 61 is next from Pete. Top three most underrated artists in Marvel history, in my opinion. Just did some great stuff. This is another really macabre cover. Look at that. Really nice. Really nice piece of purple in there. Yeah, this is 62. <clears throat> and that, there's a guy again. I believe that was, uh, wasn't he like... Dracula's son or something I think, like that? Yes, yeah. he was. Jan that's, Janos, that is correct. Right? Yeah, Janus. 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 Yeah. Janus. Janus. And uh, he comes back. And here it is. Standing triumphant over his dad. Just, it's just, I, I just can't say it enough. That's just stellar artwork. Yeah. It's just amazing. The colors just pop on yeah. all of them. This is issue 65. I need 64. You know, looks like a witch hunt. Yep. <laughs> Stakes everywhere. Great, great cover Stakes again. And clubs. You know, uh, Dracula. I mean, how could you not like this character? This is a. I love this cover. Yeah. This is issue sixty-seven. Again, here's his daughter ah, Lilith. There she is. You know, and she hates her father. Hates, hates him. him. Despises him. <laughs> and here she's going after him to get her revenge. And then the, the last in my collection. Is 68. I believe he stopped at seven, somewhere between 70 and 72. 70. I have 70 it's coming 70. Up. It's coming up. Look at the, I like the evil green hands. Yeah, that is pretty neat. Up from the depths. This is great. And that concludes my Dracula, Tomb of Dracula issues. So here's the, this is it. All right. This is, this is, this is the last one, number, number 70. 70. Yep, special double issue to signify the end. Of course, you know that they, they continued on with the Dracula character uh, 
in the uh, Dracula Lives, and uh, you would pop the up magazines, the Marvel magazines, magazines. But basically, as a color comic, this was it. Um, you know, sad, and they never revisited it again, which is interesting. Uh, but I know, you know, Vampire Tales were, were pretty popular back then. We may have shown this one last time, but if not, or if we did, sorry, but we're going to show it again. So again, I'm sure you don't mind. No, no. This John. is uh, the appearance of his daughter. The yes. First time, right? The first appearance of Lilith. I think so. Yeah. yeah or at least right. in the color comic. Yeah. Um, great cover there too. Now you would think that they're all chummy, you know, father and daughter, but no. as Bill just said before, nope, not the case. No. So, uh, not even with the son either. Janus. No, no. So, but very. Dracula, Dracula was not the daddy kind of guy. Right? No, he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> he was a vile character. He was, Evil. but we loved him anyway. But we loved him anyway. We and he was, anyway. he was very intellect, he was very articulate, yep. and very conniving and very clever. Yes, and very strong, powerful. Yes, uh, for the supernatural powers of the undead. Yeah, well, you know, whether you talk about the comic character, or whether in the, in the films, I just most people just can't get enough of Dracula. It's yeah, just here it is, one more time. Yeah. So I'm Wild Bill saying thanks for watching our part two of Tomb of Dracula, and uh, thanks for being here with us. And uh, again, as always, thanks for watching and thanks for your views and thanks for your feedback. Yep. And keep coming back for more if you love comic books as much as we do. That's right. And I'm Pete. Uh, again, I'm, I'm just going to. Reiterate everything Bill just said. Uh, thank you all so much for making the first year of Comic Book Geezers. So much fun and Actually, so rewarding. six months. We just started Yeah, in we're July. not even a full year, guys. We're not even a full year it yet. It just seems like it. We're just turning the leaf on a new We're somewhere year. between 30 and 40 videos now. And uh, we love bringing them to you. And there, these, all these comics are from our collections. It's yep. not like we're borrowing them from a store to show you. And uh, we, we thank you so much. So yep. I'm Wild Bill saying thanks for being here, and we'll catch you next time. And I'm Pete. Uh, see you next time. we got lots more good stuff coming. That's right. Good. Eat, your, <laughs> eat your garlic and get out your holy water and get out the cross. That's right. I, mean, right. I wish there was more Dracula we could do, but, you know, that's, that's – We'll think of something. We'll think of something. We'll find some other monsters. Anyway, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. See you.